Hi everyone, I hope you all are doing really really well. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. So wonderful to have you here. Whew, today I will be making a video on such an important matter in my opinion, I think in many people's opinion, which is, which I have talked in so many videos of mine, and I will link this video, the last video I had, that March 2023 is the time of the beginning of a brand new era. I can't make this stuff up. So I encourage you to watch my Pluto entering Aquarius for the next 20 years, and which also starts the Aquarian age for the next 200 years and 2000 years. I mean, I can't make this stuff up. And I, as I always keep saying, I already feel the energies before they even start to happen. I always, for the last 11 years, I really realized that I experienced in my life the energies in advance than it is actually happening. I have so many planets. I have five planets in Scorpio, in my eighth house. That's why I'm such a deep, deep, deep person. And also I have an Aries ascendant. So I already, I mean, <laughs> it's just unbelievable. And also in that video, I talked about Saturn into Pisces for the next three years from March 2023 actually on Tuesday, March 7, 2023, all the way to February 13, 2026. For the next three years, Saturn in Pisces. I personally was really looking forward to that one for personal reasons. The last time Saturn was in Pisces was in the 90s, in the late 90s, which was in a very important time period for me. And um, so, yes, I was looking forward to this for years. So I can't wait. We entering Saturn in Pisces. Obviously, Saturn is not like just like Jupiter right now, still in Aries. So go Aries. It's not like that. It's more like disciplined and more like structured. But it can mean many different things for many different people. That's why instead of making these super long videos, I mean, I can talk hours about this, but there are so many factors involved in this. So instead of giving this 10 hours long videos and writing all these PDFs and whatnot, it's better if you're interested, I can do a consultation, I can look into it and tell you what that means personally for you, because for every single person is different. So what I'm going to do here is, as I always do, is schematic for you to be able to understand where in which houses for each sign from Aries to Pisces, where it will be affected, which areas in life will be affected. That's why we should never trust on this general information. Those general informations are good for global events, which I talked in that video. I talked about what will happen in the world when Saturn enters into Pisces as well as Pluto enter into Aquarius for the entire world, how it will be shifting. Please watch that video. If you haven't watched my 2020 video, which I predicted everything about this pandemic, watch that video because if you follow me for some time, every single thing that comes out of my mouth happens. And so it has also not just this astrological stuff, whatever. It is also the world events, history and technology. And for example, everything I predicted about Elon Musk happened or everything I predict about Twitter's future happened the leaks and stuff and China's involvement and whatever, right? And, and, you know, watch my videos on Elon Musk. So I have tons of videos about Elon Musk and um, the Twitter. I predicted uh, what will happen and exactly that happened after Elon Musk took over with all the leaks and stuff. I said it before. So if you don't believe me, it's up to you, but I will like to give you these opportunities to 
really look into your life and to me it really helped me personally i really really believe that it's a tool for self empowerment self-help self-care that's why i'm so focused on this because it helped me a lot and i want to help you obviously and so Again, if you need anything personal, I am happy to look into that. You can check that on my online store. We can book that and we can do even one-on-one -on -one if you want to, okay? So, as I said, what I want to do is a first section. I will be drawing a schematic and show you in which houses is going into what for each sign. Then I will talk a little bit, very briefly, like chop, 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 Saturn and Pisces for each sign. But then I don't know how long this video will going to be because it's already like 11 p.m. I'm already tired while I was preparing all of this, reading all of the information. So I hope it won't be too long. I hope I will make it quick. But as I said, um, I can do the consultation personal. But I will do in the next section the Pluto in Aquarius for each sign. I think that's the most critical. And I already, already started to feel it. It's just mind-blowing how this works. I already start to feel it from my Ascendant. I'm not sure about for my Scorpionic side. That's a little bit, I will have to see weight. But for my Ascendant... And I encourage you to first look into Ascendant if you're age over 30. That will be first. You can feel it right away. If you pay attention to this, you will feel it. I promise you will feel it. And I encourage you to really pay attention to what is happening in your life. Because that way, you don't feel like lost in this world. I'm telling you. I promise you. Before knowing all of this... You just don't know what is happening. Why is this happening? You feel like life is slamming you from left and right. And you have no idea where to go, what to do, and why you're here, and what is happening, why me, and all of that. But once you learn this, I promise you, you not only feel this yourself already without even knowing anything you're like uh-huh uh-huh uh -huh. before even this happens and once it happens you're like okay that's why and then you don't feel overwhelmed anymore and also you feel empowered because you know what to do at the end of the day and that's so empowering also for example Still, we are in this North Node in Taurus and South Node in Scorpio. It really kicks my behind, like literally. For the last one year, it literally kicked my behind because I have to let go of what no longer serves me. Or it's like me transforming. I have to let go what is really inside of me that I was holding on to for so long. All of these restrictions and all of these things that are holding me back, for example, really deep, deep matters and issues. Those are these personal things. And because of South Node, I have to let it go. And it's hard, as especially for Scorpio, because Taurus and Scorpio, we like to hold on. We like to hold on. And for Taurus, Taurus is really trying to figure out right now what the life is going where. Taurus is trying to figure out their life path. And because it's a North Node, and the South Node is what to need to let go. So Taurus is experiencing letting go of relationships, of partnerships. Scorpio is experiencing this as letting go of personal things that hold the person personally back. So it's really like a dynamic and I can make this stuff up. You can feel it if you're if you're really in tune with it and if you learn all about it, you just like you know it's because of that. And because it's a karmic thing, it's South Node is karma and North Node is your future. It's just like, you know, you have to experience this stuff. That's why it's tough. It's hard. 
but it's there for you to grow and to be empowered. So still from the Jupiter side, Jupiter is still in Aries, in my ascendant, so it's super lucky. It's really a fantastic time for Aries. Try to make the best of it until July, and then Jupiter goes into Taurus. For me, it's great because it's my relationship house, and from the Aries, it's my money house. So it, it's really like a good time from the Jupiter's perspective. But from the other side is that there's big, big transformations when we are talking about Pluto because Pluto is the transformation. It really transforms. And for the last 20 years, 20 years, it was in Capricorn, which means, and I just watched that video, it's about governments and structures. And the more we are starting to move out of that, you will see how this governmental structure will just like crumbling down for the next two decades and then 200 years and 2000 years. It's more about humanity, community and power to people. We the people, that's the whole point of Pluto in Aquarius. Aquarius, that's the Aquarius thing breakthroughs, medical breakthroughs, sky, science, space science, even space more like in everything intelligent, breakthroughs, innovations, a lot of stuff like that. As I said, I talked a lot about that in my other video. I will link that. Billy's watched that, so I'm not going to go into that because it's a long video anyway. So without further ado, let's get started. Let's dive into it. Okay, so 